Readings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things the thing says to do. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Now we're back to another RPG, and I've been telling you about all these different RPGs that I love and enjoy, and if you know me, you know there's a certain series that I really enjoy, and it was definitely going to be on this list, and I wanted to go ahead and start off with the best one. There'll probably be some other ones from that series as well, but this is my my favorite entry into the series, and to me, probably top five RPGs that I've played, and that is uh, Tales of Asperia. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with the Tales series, they are a long-standing RPG series that uh, goes back to the SNES days, right? Um, and I, I can't tell you all the entries off the top of my head, and I will not. I, I refuse to. There's no reason to. But just understand that they have a uh, unique battle system. It's more akin to a fighting game, you know. So I was, I'm, you know, I'm already sold, right? But also, they have, you know, really, really great stories. Um, you know, very anime. Esque as far as the uh, art style and the the storylines, um, but there's usually like one of my favorite things, which is something uh, that started with like the Fantasy Star games, is you start off in a world and then you are going to travel to another planet, like uh, Tales and Star Ocean, right? Star Ocean is obviously about space travel, but the Tales games is always like, yeah, you're on this planet, but there's also another planet, or there's this other world, or it's something like that, right? There's always like two sides yin and yang type of thing or just like good and evil or you know um, some group that thinks they're better than the others and and you know they want to dominate or whatever the you know the stories may be but um just to kind of give you a little bit without giving you too much tales of asperia for one uh this game was recommended to me originally by my friend larry he was like yo you got to try this game like i know you're gonna like it and uh, you know tried it out and was like yeah i'm in i'm 100 percent in uh, but you play uh, Yuri, the young rap scallion, uh, and then you meet a bunch of other people as one tends to do in an RPG. But the the cool thing is, so Yuri has his friend Flynn, who's like this knight. And usually in these games, like there's like one main character. But Tales of Asperia was one of the times where I felt like this game had at least a few main characters. Um, more so like Final Fantasy than than a lot of the other RPGs where there's like clearly like a main character and then like some side characters, right? Like, I don't know, there was something about like the way they, the relationships worked and everything. I really liked like this, this two sides of the same coin thing with Yuri and Flynn. So there's the way for you to learn more about the party, right? As you pick up different people, as you go through different events, you can do these uh, skits that, they, that pop up on your screen. And it's optional, but like it's where you get all the best dialogues. And it, it was something that the Tale series is very much known for. And it's like one of the ways to like just see how these characters develop and their interactions. And I don't know, it's just that little thing always stuck with me as being like this super cool, interesting way to show the characters relationships grow and become more dynamic. And I always thought that was really cool. And I always appreciated that in each of the Tales games. That was probably one of the things I noticed about uh, Tales of Arise to make a sidebar for no reason, that it didn't feel quite the same, even though everything else about the game was amazing and presentation beautiful and all of those things. Tales of Asperia was like the perfect combination of visuals looking great. I mean, it looks like an anime, like you're playing an anime. The uh, combat is fantastic. The characters are great. The story is great. The weapons, the costumes, everything about it is just, I don't know, it's, it's peak tales for me. Uh, but there are some really other uh, great Tales games that I'll, I'll probably talk about later on on uh, different videos. But I definitely wanted to uh, give a shout out to Tales of Asperia for being just a fantastic, fantastic game. If you are a fan of RPGs, you got to play this game. If you haven't, um, there's like 19 different versions. Uh, I know they have like the Definitive Edition, which you can probably get on almost any platform at this point. And as the Tales series becomes more popular, I'm very happy about that because we get more and more people buying. It means they get more resources to make even better Tales games. So I look forward to that. But if you um, played any of the Tales games but haven't played this one, I'm telling you, just just give it a give it a couple of hours and you, you'll you'll be hooked. I'm sure of it. And as always, appreciate you checking out the video. Look forward to hearing your feedback on this game. Y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. Peace.